Hi friends, uh, my name is Mayur Ubai. I am an assistant professor in WIT Solapur. Today we are going to discuss about design of high rate trickling filter. First, uh, let's see what are, what are the learning outcomes. Uh, at the end of this session, students will be able to analyze the design of high rate trickling filter in wastewater treatment plant. Let's see the raw view of a trickling filter. On this part, you can see a trickling filter which is sprinkled on the surface area of the media and the water is passing down and it is collected from this side and it is taken down. And this is the feed pipe from which the water is taken up for the sprinkling system. So here, while designing the trickling filter, we have to understand and we have to calculate the height and the diameter of trickling filter. On this part, we have to understand what is meant by the recirculation ratio. Here, when the water is uh, taken out as an effluent after the treatment, it is taken down to clarifier where the settling of uh, the uh, treated waste water is happening and the supernatant of this part is taken down and few part is taken uh, for the next uh, treatment, okay? And few part of uh, the treated water is again recycled and it is mixed with the influent and it is again taken up for the trickling filter of uh, waste water. So, how much water we have to recirculate and mix with the influent, okay? So, the few part of the waste water when it is transferred and mixed with the influent and the ratio of this volume of recycled uh, supernatant to the influent we call it as recirculation ratio. So in the design three parameters are very much important for us. One is uh, recirculation ratio from which we can calculate recirculation factor. Th second one is its height and third one is its diameter. Okay. So let's see one example of design of trickling filter. Let's, uh, let us assume design for a high rate single stage trickling filter for treating a following wastewater of a town having a population of 40,000 persons and few parameters which we have which we had given here is the domestic sewage at the rate of 150 liters per capita per day having 200 mg per liter of BOD and the second part of uh, influent which is coming is industrial wastewater at the rate of 0.25 uh, million liters per day that is MLD having 600 mg per liter of BOD. Recirculation ratio given is 1.0. The BOD removal in the primary clarifier is given as 35% and effluent BOD which is desired for us after the completion of the treatment of wastewater in the trickling filter must have 30 mg per liter. So what are the steps which are involved in the design of trickling filter? The first step is to calculate the total influent BOD. First calculate the total domestic influent that is 50 per liters per capita per day multiplied by 40,000 persons will give us 6 into 10 raised to 6 liters per day. That and what is the domestic influent BOD from the uh, this part, this total influent that is 6 MLD multiplied by 200 mg per liter which is given to us uh, multiplied by 10 raised to minus 6 kg per mg. So our answer will be coming out in kg per day and what is the total answer after calculating? It is 1200 kg per day. So we are getting the total BOD from the domestic influent which is 1200 kg per day. So the second part is the industrial BOD. It is calculated as 0.25 into 10 raised to 6 liters per day multiplied by 600 mg per liter which is given to us multiplied by 10 raised to 6 kg per mg. Fine. So by calculating all this we will getting 150 kg per day. So what is our total BOD which is coming per day into the trickling filter? That is addition of 1200 plus 150 kg per day. 
सो दैट इज अवर टोटल इन्फ्लुएंट बी एड इज हैपनिंग टू बी वन थ्री फाइव जीरो के जी पर डे फाइन सो वॉट इज अ सेकेंड स्टेप इन द सेकेंड स्टेप वी विल कैलकुलेट द बी ओ डी रिमूवल बाय फिल्टर ओके हाउ मच बी ओ डी इज गोइंग टू बी रिमूव बाय द फिल्टर सो फर्स्ट कैलकुलेट द बी ओ डी अप्लाइड टू द फिल्टर एज वी हैव बीन गिवन दैट थर्टी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ द बी ओ डी विच इज कमिंग इन टू द ट्रिकलिंग फिल्टर हैज बीन रिमूव बाय प्राइमरी क्लैरिफायर सो द रिमेनिंग सिक्सटी फाइव परसेंट वी हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई बाय द इन्फ्लुएंट बी ओ डी द टोटल बी ओ डी सो वी विल बी गेटिंग द इन्फ्लुएंट बी ओ डी विच इज कमिंग इन टू द ट्रिकलिंग फिल्टर सो हाउ वी कैन राइट इट वन थ्री फाइव जीरो के जी पर डे मल्टीप्लाई बाय पॉइंट सिक्स फाइव दैट इज सिक्सटी फाइव परसेंट विच विल गिव अस एट सेवन सेवन पॉइंट फाइव के जी पर डे सो दिस मच अमाउंट ऑफ बी ओ डी इज कमिंग इन टू द ट्रिकलिंग फिल्टर एज वी हैव बीन गिवन द डिजायर्ड बी ओ डी इन द एफ्लुएंट दैट इज द वॉटर आफ्टर द ट्रीटमेंट इट मस्ट हैव थर्टी एम जी पर लीटर ऑफ बी ओ डी सो द टोटल बी ओ डी लेफ्ट इन द इन्फ्लुएंट विल बी थर्टी एम जी पर लीटर मल्टीप्लाई बाय सिक्स इंटू टेन रेस टू सिक्स लीटर्स पर डे प्लस पॉइंट टू फाइव इंटू टेन रेस टू सिक्स लीटर्स पर डे वॉट इज दिस दिस इज द टोटल डिस्चार्ज विच इज कमिंग इन टू द वॉटर मल्टीप्लाइंग बी ओ डी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एम जी पर लीटर टू द टोटल डिस्चार्ज विल बी गिविंग द वैल्यू ऑफ एम जी पर डे एंड वी विल बी कन्वर्टिंग टू के जी बाय मल्टीप्लाइंग टेन रेस टू माइनस सिक्स फाइन सो वी विल बी गेटिंग इन द फॉर्म ऑफ के जी पर डे सो बाय डूइंग दिस कैलकुलेशन वी विल बी गेटिंग द टोटल बी ओ डी एज वन एटी सेवन पॉइंट फाइव के जी पर डे सो हाउ मच द बी ओ डी विच विल बी रिमूव बाय द फिल्टर एज इट इज द इन्फ्लुएंट बी ओ डी एंड इट इज द एफ्लुएंट बी ओ डी विच इज कमिंग डाउन फाइन सो सब्सट्रैक्टिंग द इन्फ्लुएंट बी ओ डी माइनस द एफ्लुएंट बी ओ डी वी विल बी गेटिंग द टोटल बी ओ डी विच विल बी रिमूव बाय द फिल्टर सो वी कैन राइट एट सेवेंटी सेवन पॉइंट फाइव माइनस वन एटी सेवन पॉइंट फाइव इन के जी पर डे सो वी विल बी गेटिंग सिक्स नाइन्टी के जी पर डे सो दिस दिस अमाउंट ऑफ बी ओ डी विल बी रिमूव बाय द फिल्टर फाइन सो लेट सी द थर्ड स्टेप सो वॉट इज द एफिशियंसी ऑफ द फिल्टर सो द एफिशियंसी ऑफ फिल्टर दैट इज ई विल बी गिवन एज बी ओ डी रिमूव बाय दैट फिल्टर डिवाइड बाय द टोटल बी ओ डी विच इज कमिंग इन टू द फिल्टर दैट इज टोटल बी ओ डी प्रेजेंट इन द इन्फ्लुएंट सो वी कैन राइट इट एज सिक्स नाइन्टी विच वी हैड कैलकुलेटेड अर्लियर डिवाइडेड बाय द टोटल बी ओ डी दैट इज एट सेवेंटी सेवन पॉइंट फाइव विच वी हैड ऑल्सो कैलकुलेटेड अर्लियर मल्टीप्लाई बाय हंड्रेड सो वी विल बी गेटिंग एज सेवेंटी एट पॉइंट सिक्स थ्री परसेंट सो वॉट इज द फोर्थ स्टेप हाउ वी कैन कैलकुलेट द वॉल्यूम ऑफ फिल्टर एज वी नो द ई दैट इज अवर एफिशियंसी ओके एंड वी ऑल्सो नो द डब्ल्यू हाउ मच द टोटल बी ओ डी विच इज प्रेजेंट इन द इन्फ्लुएंट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ के जी पर डे वी नो वी डोंट नो द वॉल्यूम एंड वी ऑल्सो डोंट नो द एफ सो वॉट इज एफ ईयर F is the recirculation factor, and it is expressed as one plus r divided by one plus point one r whole square. As we know the r, that is recirculation ratio, we can calculate the recirculation factor. And by applying this F into this part, we can calculate F. So this whole formula, which is of NRC formula. we can find out the volume of a uh, filter so we had studied all the four steps let us uh, have some few questions okay to understand in the deep an analysis of this four steps for uh, by taking some few questions so let's have some few questions the first one is recirculation ratio is limited to 3 for industrial wastewater whether it is true or false the second one is number of effect uh, effective passes through the filter is known as let's see their answers for the first one recirculation ratio is not limited to 3 for industrial wastewater and the second one is 
फॉर द नंबर ऑफ इफेक्टिव पासिस थ्रू द फिल्टर इज ऑलवेज नोन एज रिसर्कुलेशन फैक्टर सो इन द फोर्थ स्टेप आफ्टर uh putting the values which we had calculated earlier as we know e w and r and putting into the formula we are getting the volume okay uh, this recirculation factor as we know r we have calculated from that part and we are getting 1.65 and putting this recirculation factor again into the nrc formula and we are getting the total volume okay and volume is coming up to be 7200 meter cube and what is the fifth step now now in the fifth step we will be finding out the dimensions of filter for that we have to assume first the depth of the filter we always assume the depth of filter between 1.5 to 2 meter okay here we are assuming height as 2 meter and as we know the surface area formula volume divided by depth we can calculate it because we had calculated the volume earlier which is coming up to be 7200 divided by the assumed depth here we had assumed the depth and by putting up we will be calculating the surface area okay and now by that we will getting the 3600 meter square as a surface area from the surface area we can calculate easily the diameter as we know the formula surface area is always equal to pi by d square by 4 okay and here d is our diameter and from that we can calculate the diameter this is the surface area that is 3600 which is equal to the value of pi that is 3.14 multiply by d square divided by 4 from that we can calculate the diameter of filter fine so again let's have some review questions so nrc formula is applied when the answer above it is the sewage load is highly variable now you have to understand where the nrc formula is used nrc formula is always applicable when recirculation is not considered okay large variation temperature is not present and the sewage load is highly variable so i have used these three references oh thank you